Hey, how are you doing? I've just got a video here for the Boss GX10 app just to show you how to select different effects and also how to delete and insert them into effects chains as well. So just as an example, we're just going to click on one of the ODs there. Um, so this is how you add it. It puts the white bits at the side there. You can press insert. And I don't know why with these drives, but it puts it after the amp. So we just need to move it there. Now you just hold it down. You're looking for that grey sort of empty block there, then just let go. And to select the type of OD, for example, it's set to OD1 at the moment. You go into knob view. This is like looking on the effect pedal itself, basically with page one and page two. And these are all the types of overdrive within this particular section. So you've got a nice selection there. If I added uh, Boss AD SD ones lately and uh, Boss DS ones as well. So all cool classic stuff. Uh, so you just pick the one that you want. And obviously, depending on that particular type of effect, this can change the uh, the options within it, you know, the parameters that are there, page one and page two. Let's just look at another example of that. So if we're going to delay there, again, knob view, this is where you select the type of effect and the uh, the effect knobs and settings. And uh, you're looking at the type there, and then you've obviously got some there. Just to look at another one. So this line is called the effects palette. Now you've got two ways to view it. You've actually got the types of effects kind of clumped together there. You've got the amps just after some of the drives and distortions there. Your EQs together, your choruses there, flanges, phases, all that kind of stuff. Your delays a bit further along. You've got loads of delays options there. And then there's reverb, acoustic. Then obviously you get to uh, the end of there and you've got all the bass stuff. And you can actually look at it via type. Oh, handier still actually is the name. So this is in obviously in alphabetical order. Now, uh, I've started to use that a bit more because I find it easier to find what I'm looking for a lot quicker, to be honest. And um, as I say, you've got a way to delete in the chain as well. So you select the one you want to delete, just hit delete and you're sorted. So, if, for example, if you just wanted to put an acoustic one in there, you select it, insert it in the chain and just move your finger just to drag it where you want it to be and just let go. That's how you do it. Please hit the subscribe button if you like what I do. Check out the other tutor videos I've got. And please check out my Boss GX10 Tone Shop listed below as well. Thank you for listening. See you later.